Here is the evidence of the fact that it's broken. See all of this yellow down here? That's dried up ammonia. <laughs> Hi friends, thanks so much for watching our video today. Well, the refrigerator goes belly up, but we find a really good repair shop in Parker. And then we celebrate by having great pizza at Silly Owls. Y'all remember to subscribe now. You hear? Here we are at Silly Owls Pizza in Quartzsite, Arizona. This place has just been so busy with cars. I'm guessing that they must have really great pizza. And it's built right here on the location of this historical site that I wanted to see anyway, Tyson Wells. So let's go and see what it's all about. Well, here we go. Let's go in. See what we're looking at inside. Oh, goodness. Look at the line. Hi there. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at all the people. I can hardly believe how crowded this place is. I wonder if it's better if you go over to the, uh, the bar side. Well, it says please wait to be seated, so I guess we got to wait anyway. There are, uh, there's a lot of memorabilia and uh, interesting artifacts on the walls of Silly Al's Pizza. We're going to go around and take a look at a few of them. pictures, old mining equipment, this kind of stuff is uh, all around the restaurant, saws and shovels and horseshoes and pieces of equipment. Interesting stuff. It's pretty interesting that you're waving and the camera's not even pointed at you. <laughs> Shooting all of the interesting memorabilia. Interesting. Saddle, shaps, cowboy hat, painting of a beautiful Indian girl over here on the mirror behind the bar. <laughs> painting of Adam and Eve back there. Look at all of the tins up here that the miners would would have in their uh, in their outfits when they came out to do their mining run into uh, hi Jim well why do you think I would have the doors of my refrigerator wide open and have most everything out of it that requires refrigeration. It's because the cotton picking thing went belly up. <laughs> Today is an extra special day. I, got, I get to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a new refrigerator. Yabba dabba doo! So it just quit cooling. And I've been living uh, with no refrigerator for a week or so. Uh, I tried uh, pulling all the electrical and shutting off the gas and restarting everything to see if maybe it was a reset issue. No luck there. 
And so today, uh, I or last night, I left the quartzite area and came back to Parker where I thought there might be a little better chance of finding somebody to repair it. I don't know if that's accurate or not. But I found a shop that will repair it. Uh, the repair, well, let me show you. This is the back side of the refrigerator on the uh, exterior wall. And uh, the firebox for it is, is right here. And inside there is an electric igniter that fires up when the gas is on. Gas comes out of this and it uh, turns on that flame. And uh, I've shut the gas off right here. And I've pulled the power. This, uh, this switch, or this, uh, this wire and this wire, uh, by pulling those wires, it stopped the uh, igniting uh, from continuing. What was happening was the fire was just uh, burning constantly. Uh, I don't know if you know, but the way that uh, refrigerators work, they're filled with uh, coolant, and the coolant uh, is heated in a particular location, but then um, the coolant uh, rises into the system and, and gets cold again very, very quickly. And that cold coolant with uh, fan blowing across it is what cools the refrigerator down. But it has to have that, plant, that flame going to boil the coolant. Uh, well, uh, by shutting off the gas and pulling the electrical, I uh, basically have, uh, um, have disabled the unit. Uh, but in talking to the repair company, uh, they asked me a very critical question. They said, can you see any uh, yellow liquid inside that compartment on the exterior of the RV? And guess what? Right there underneath that pipe, you can see the big yellow stain. Apparently that is an ammonia stain. Ammonia is apparently the refrigerant used in this uh, refrigerator. So bring it in a little closer and, and you can see that yellow. Here is the old refrigerator, empty, broken, and ready to be moved out of here. We have a new refrigerator that's come in. And this is Vicki. Hi, Vicki. And she is the nice lady who helped me. These are the nice gentlemen who are going to put my refrigerator in after they eat their lunch. And this is the refrigerator. Hope it fits. Well, there's what it looks like right out of the box. Hey, look at that. Looks identical to the old one. Only it's clean. <laughs> <laughs> Yabba dabba do. It only costs thousands of dollars to get a clean refrigerator. <laughs> well, friends, here is the new refrigeration unit. All installed, all working properly, I'm told. Tell me it's working properly. It's working good. Right. You want me to explain what I did to check and make sure that it was working? Sure, do it. So with everything hooked up, we turned it on to auto. I went to the back, checked the amps on your electric element. We had 2.36 on both amp wires. I unplugged your 15 amp cord in the back, which simulates loss of power for the fridge. It kicked over to gas, lit immediately, had a good blue flame on your gas valve, and uh, plugged it back in to simulate you got power back. Cord clicked over, and you're good.
went back to uh, on electric. So. All right, cool. So, job's so big, we got to have two people doing it. And uh, we got a new box on the inside here, and uh, we're just driving lags through. We got a, uh, a we got a marine that's uh, fighting the screwdriver, getting those screws in there. Oh, nice! You know, once a marine, always a marine, right? Hoorah! <laughs> oh, hoorah! Jeez, I almost got my butt kicked by a Marine because I didn't say hoorah. All right. Well, there we go. Looking pretty good. Looking a lot cleaner. I don't see any more uh, yellow ammonia stains in there at all. Uh, should be good to go for another 20 years. yabba dabba doo <laughs> So, accurate RV and Marine. Supply in uh, Parker, Arizona. You didn't do it. I didn't do it. They won't let me do it. <laughs> well, uh, okay? now Vicky told anything? me on the phone that if uh, if she couldn't get the job completed by 11:30, that it was free. <laughs> oh, she she got fired. Oh, she did? Yeah, that oh, was uh, Leanne. That, oh, that was Leanne that told me that. Yeah. Oh, who's this? This is the owner. Oh, okay. This yeah. is Vicky. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Vicky wouldn't dare say that because she knows better. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look here inside of Accurate RV and Marine Repair. They got uh, all kinds of... Uh, products and liquids and fluids and tie downs and and accessories and clocks they got uh, pretty much everything an RV guy would need oh yeah batteries clips and and gauges and Man, phalanges and hoses and toilets. And they got some awesome repair people that uh, did the job in rapid time. They did good. They did good. Well, it looks like this is the uh, marine side, so if you got a boat, this is a good place to go, too. So, I'm real happy with the service. They got the reefer here quick. And, uh... It's only about 80 degrees today, so Vicky's got to put a jacket on. You can tell she's a real Arizonan. We're talking about putting you away in one of these houses. Yeah? Yeah, it's a cool house. Well, I don't want one. right, this one. Nah. No? I'm happy living in my RV. That, that house right there can't go from Tucson to Phoenix yeah, in a day. <laughs> You know, and see all the He's sights in between. Absolutely. And I'm old enough that that's how I want to live my life now. Oh, yeah. I've that's had the big bad houses. I've had the million dollar houses. Yeah, I like I'm my little RV like you. just not like interested in it anymore. Yeah, all right. So I got a new refrigerator. The last one uh, lasted for 20 years. So I'm hoping this one lasts as long. <laughs> But here's the freezer. Woohoo! Even got food in it. And the temperature is about 20 below. And here's the refrigerator. Look at all that food in there. Woohoo! I got refrigerated food again, and I got cold drinks again. Yabba dabba doo. <laughs>
It looks just the same as the old one because it's the exact same model, just a replacement. And the uh, wood grain panels uh, from the old one just went right into the new one. So that all worked out just fine, and that keeps everything matching all the other cabinets in the rig. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching our video today. We had a great time at Silly Al's Pizza. The pizza and beverages was only about 20 bucks, but uh, the refrigerator replacement, <laughs> that was about 1800 Y'all remember to subscribe now. <laughs>